Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial guys. In this tutorial, I will explain you how to model this water tank in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. Click on part and click OK. And here select MMGS or millimeters as unit. From here change the background to plain white. Click on top plane and select here sketch. And from here select here a corner rectangle and make a rectangle like this. Now let's specify the smart dimensioning tool and here specify the length of this line as 750 millimeters and the height of this line as 1700 millimeter now select here three point arc specify first point second and third point here and now make this line as construction geometry then hold the control key from your keyboard select this three point arc and center line and make here relation tangent then check this box from here and then select here trim entities and trim this line after that specify the radius of this three point arc as 1500 millimeters and then go to features and select here reward boss base and in this window if anything is selected just click and delete we need to select this line here it would act as axis of, of revolution then check this box from here and now specify any color you like this is optional now here click on this sketch and make it visible by clicking on show here you can see this sketch it would be used to make this plane so in reference geometry select this plane in first reference select this line and in the second reference select this point a plane on this point will be created and this plane will be used for the further sketching so select this plane and click on sketch select this circle and convert entities now select here center rectangle and here make a rectangle like this and another rectangle like this and after that select here center line from this yellow dot to this yellow dot make a center line and again make this a horizontal from this yellow dot to this yellow dot it would be used as a reference I will show you how select here this rectangle three point center rectangle from this point to this point and click here make a rectangle like this now hold the control key from your keyboard select this point and this line and make here relation coincident and that was basically the use of these reference lines and similarly hold control key select these two points and make here relation coincident so that's that was the use of these lines now specify the length of this line as 600 millimeter and after that specify the length of these two rectangles 200 millimeters basically these are the widths and now select here trim entities and make sure that you have selected this power trim option and select here the extra lines that are outside of the circle and now trim this internal area when you have uh, selected the power trim you only have to uh, click on click on the mouse and drag in this area and this area as well all the internal area if any wrong line is trimmed just press ctrl z button or you have to recreate things that's why you have to be very careful while trimming these lines and uh, i have make some mistake here so i have to select this circle and convert entities okay and now select here trim entities again and trim these outer arcs like this 
and these arcs we want let me show you these are the arcs we want and now our sketch is complete so go to features here and select extruded boss base and in this contours option we need to select this contour or this sketch that we have created here we do not have up to next option so select here blind and give this extrusion the right direction but when you go in this direction option again you you will find here up to next option we need to simply check this box from here and it would be automatically created now hide this plane because we do not have to do anything with this sketch and plane so hide the sketch and plane and then select this top surface and click on sketch from here select a set circle and make a circle like this at this origin and now select here smart dimensioning tool and specify the diameter of the circle i am specifying as 500 now go to features and select extruded boss base and here specify the length of extrusion i am specifying as 50 millimeter check this box from here and before moving any further let me apply some fillets so select this fillet and select this area this area this area and this area actually the bottom one is selected and here specify 50 millimeter for the radius of the fillet and you need to specify this area as well and then check this box from here now select fillet again select this top surface and here definitely the fillet radius would be smaller i'm specifying 15 millimeter mm, and then check this box from here right click on the previous fillet and edit because this part was left and now we are done with the fillets and uh, uh, we are left with few more steps so i need this top plane that is basically cutting this tank in half make here a circle and now let's specify the diameter of this circle i'm specifying as 35 millimeter from this bottom point to the center of the circle the distance you need to specify as 150 and after that go to features and select your revolve boss base actually i forgot to make here a center line which would be acting as an axis so make here a straight vertical line make sure that this is vertical and then go to features again and select revolve boss base again and let me show you here you need to select in this window this line which would be acting as axis of revolution and here we have it now select here linear pattern in this direction we need to specify any vertical line so i'm specifying this one and in features and faces i will be selecting this one i want to mirror i want to make a linear pattern of it and here you need to specify the distance let me specify from here and here you need to specify how many number you want so I want 6 and the distance is 240 and this is the wrong direction so you can make it right by clicking here and check this box from here and now we are only left with the shell so select here shell and select this top surface and here specify 5 millimeter 5 millimeter would be basically the thickness of this water tank and you can specify any thickness you like so this is complete if you find this video helpful then please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching